Hello everyone, um, welcome to my presentation about feedback. My name is Radek Zavřel and um, I've been working as a uh, manager for, for, for more than a decade. Uh, one of my responsibilities uh, is providing feedback and during my career I just uh, observed that people usually struggle with providing feedback. So this is a reason why I just decided to, to talk a little bit more about this, so why this is happening, what we can do for it. Uh, overall, the feedback is a very complex and, and large topic. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, approaches how to do the feedback. So please consider this as my observation and uh, I'm going to provide more like a high level of what I think what we should do. Let me start with a question. So how many of you recently provided a feedback to your teammate, boss, or someone at home also can be a parent, kids, friends? Oh, many of you. Great, great. So and uh, how many of you felt comfortable uh, provide the feedback? <laughs> yeah, some of you, yeah, but less, less, less hands, yeah, okay. So I know that it can be uh, different when you are saying some criticism to someone at home or someone at, at, at work. However, um, uh, we are struggling with providing the feedback because because we we just uh, we are just we are just afraid what would be the reaction. We want to say something. Uh, we want to uh, because we want to change something or just let them know what we do not like. Right. So. Um, there is usually a tendency that we don't we want to avoid to provide the feedback or at least uh, postpone it as much as possible. Sometimes we just choose a, an approach that um, that we just say it indirectly. We're just trying to indicate what we don't like, and we still hope that the message is delivered. But usually, it, it will not happen. Or, or worse, what can happen is that we just say the all good things. Uh, everything is fine and still we are expecting that something will change. So uh, we must realize that feedback is crucial for our lives. S uh, receiving but also giving the feedbacks. Thanks to the feedback we can build trust which help us to, to have stronger relationships. Building the relationships will help us to have a better like our well-being. Feedback can help us with personal development, thus we can also improve our performance. And at the end, all these uh, help us to be more effective, not just at work, but also at our daily lives. We may not, we may not realize it, but uh, we are providing feedback our whole life. We were, when we were kids, we were crying um, or, or smiling at our parents, so we, we just let them know what we like or dislike. And we were very critical that time as well. Now we just grew up and uh, we are still providing feedback even if we just, we, we just do not realize it. So also our body language is a kind of feedback. But for some reason, uh, we, just, we just lost the uh, ability to, to criticize uh, over the time. <coughs> so why this is happening? The main reason is the fear or worry. We have a fear of giving feedback because it can uh, evoke us to an unpleasant situation. It can be a damaging relationships. When we are working with someone at least eight hours a day or we live with someone most of our lives, of course we want to keep these relationships healthy, as good as possible, and we just don't want to risk them, right? Or also, um, when, uh, when we are providing a feedback, we can be afraid of a defensive reaction what if the feedback is not going to be accepted? Because if this happened, having any crucial discussion or structural discussion is very hard anyway. What else can happen is that it can lead to some consequences which lead to a conflict. Where is the conflict? It's a pretty stressful situation and people don't like it and they want to avoid it. So where are, where are the feelings? There are... Um, or there, there is a conflict, there are feelings. Uh, feelings are very uh, common for us, right? And usually when we provide a feedback, we don't want to make people sad or, or frustrated. So this is also a fear that we want to avoid. At our workplaces, 
um, we have a fear of escalation. So what if my criticism is going to be escalated to a situation rather than, uh, rather than solve? Or worse, uh, it can be a kind of retaliation when someone, higher, uh, someone who, is, uh, who is higher in the hierarchy or someone with a big, bigger influence can, can draw this, um, this to some negative consequences. All these and others are the fears why we are uh, afraid of uh, provide the feedback. So, um, I have a couple of hints. What I like, and these are f from my experience, and they are pretty simple. I know this is more a high level, but I would recommend you to, to try to uh, follow this, this, uh, these recommendations. So what I say is that be humble, which means that um, provide the feedback with all your humility and willingness to, to listen. Be helpful, let, let, the, let, the, let them uh, improve uh, wh whatever they need to improve. Or uh, another, another very important thing is be immediate. Provide the feedback as soon as possible. Don't wait too long time, because when it comes with some surprise, it can be a failure. Um, because the, the, the receiver just can lose the chance to learn from it or make some uh, improvement effort. The longer you wait, the harder is convince someone. Perhaps you, you, you were in some situation when you, did not, di you didn't say anything when you should, and later you just regret that. Also, please be clear as much as possible. Be as specific as possible. So share your expectations. Uh, but at the same time, let them know that you, that you, have, their, uh, you, you have the confidence they, can, they are able to succeed and, and meet the expectations. Sometimes providing a feedback is very hard. Uh, it can be a very hard topic to share something, mainly when it is a criticism. And, and many times, it's really, really not easy. However, from my experience, what I can recommend to you, just be open as much as possible. Be transparent as much as possible. Provide all details what you can provide. The reason is that even if um, someone or the recipient just do, not, do, just do not agree with our feedback, when we are open, it's just much better accepted. Therefore, I just recommend care personally. So um, let them feel that, uh, that you care about people. Uh, challenge them directly. Uh, so don't give it, give it up, even if it is super hard. Encourage the communication. Be honest and authentic. Build trust, ensure mutual respect. Make sure you are consistent in your action and feedback to build trust over the time. At, at the end, uh, be sure that you provide a safe environment, which means a good place and time. What I like is walking outside, but usually in this world of online, I mean the online world, it's, it's hard to do. But before uh, the pandemic, I did it. So it was pretty common because when you are walking side by side with someone, the providing any feedback or uh, talking about the hard topics, it's much easier. <clears throat> okay, I guess many of you know the, 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 the sandwich approach. So let me just ask you, uh, so what does it mean? Any one of you, what is the first layer? Yes. So you start with saying something nice, you put the criticism at the next step, and then you say something nice again. And yes, it's a, it's a compliment, <laughs> criticism, <laughs> and compliment. Yes, you are right. And however, uh, I, personally, I would recommend to avoid this approach. Mainly people know it, and uh, they, they are irritated by that, usually. <laughs> Uh, second, uh, people um, uh, are pretty nervous during the providing the feedback, and, 
and they uh, usually just uh, hear the all criticism and they forget the compliments, or they are super confident, uh, they just ignore the criticism and they just hear the compliments. So therefore, I would just recommend, uh, as I said before, just be open. So, 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 so just share with them. You are going to provide some criticism and also you are going to say what they are doing well. You can change the order, you can ask them what, what, what you want to hear first. This approach is much more easier and appreciated by, by, uh, by people who you are providing feedback. Of course, of course, it's good to ensure um, mutual, uh, like a two-way uh, conversation. At the end, I know that, uh, as I said, so feedback is a very hard topic, when main, mainly when, it's a, when it is a uh, criticism. And what can happen is that it just doesn't work, right? So um, I just encourage you to be patient, staying open, and uh, don't give it up. Please provide feedback uh, anytime and, and follow your progress. And yes, what can happen is that it just, does, it just doesn't work. Uh, and can, there can be a many reasons why it doesn't work. It can be a cultural differences, uh, mutual empathy, lack of mutual empathy, or different personalities. The chemistry doesn't work there or uh, the recipient is just not ready to receive uh, the, the, the feedback. I was talking about providing a feedback, however, the, uh, seeking the feedback is also very important. So I just encourage you to seek the feedback anytime you can, otherwise you, you, uh, you limit your potential. Let's, let's hear what others think of you and what you can improve. So, Therefore, what I'm saying is listen actively and uh, pay attention, but also manage your, en uh, manage your, your, uh, your emotions. So s try to uh, avoid defensive reactions, reflect and evaluate. Uh, use your feedback to make some positive changes. At the end, uh, I would like to uh, quote one of the famous uh, psychologists, Carl Jung. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. So uh, this was my first presentation of the DEF CONF and providing a feedback or presenting for me, it's a huge step of my, uh, my, my comfort zone. So if you can, uh, take all the, what I just said, uh, what I just said about the feedback, and you, if you can provide me a feedback, I would really appreciate that. Thank you very much. If there are any questions, so let me know. So, so the question is if, my voice is different when I'm talking with someone in the, from the different location, like if it is online, like remote or in person, or I'm not sure if I... I'm not sure if I just understand this question, so... Uh, oh, yeah, I, I see, I see. No, like, of course, like, uh, of course, having someone online or at least ideally in person, then be online, and uh, in the last last op uh, option would be the 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 instant messaging. But I would try to avoid it at all. So it's a uh, like just texting and providing the feedback by that. If main, mainly when this is kind of a crucial topic or kind of criticism, uh, still you have to you have to choose the the either in the in person approach. Lady there.
walking side by side sounds yeah. great. What, how do you deal with that with a uh, remote, uh, with a remote team where you have to introduce yeah. and then it's kind of uh, confrontational because the other person is on the other side of the as I said uh, before, uh, when I just mentioned the sandwich approach, which I would like to avoid, so uh, I, I would introduce it that yes, I'm going to have the, like two two areas that I want to cover. One of this is the, is the criticism, another one is what uh, what uh, what uh, they are doing well, so they can choose the the the, the order, uh, and and yeah, it just openly open this discussion b b with this, that you, you go are going to cover the all, 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 area, all two areas. Okay, we are out of the time, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you can invite Renek for coffee.